this uh, matchup. You better believe that. So another good one should be on deck. Yeah, I like Portugal in their first game. They were feisty. Could have gotten a win. Should have. Should have, baby. That was. Yeah. They'll be trying for uh, for number two today, for for the first one here. They got close in the first game. I like the way they try to outplay mismatches. Well, they don't have a choice now. Uh, if, if we're going to see Portugal tomorrow, uh, they got to win here and now. I was just saying that Hungary, this is not a pushover Hungarian team. I think as a ball hander, Claudia Pop is arguably the fastest player in the women's game off the dribble. Argue with me if you want to. I'm talking to you, boss. Well, I'm I was looking at I was looking at the size difference between her and Soero, and they are about the same size. So I don't know. Soero might be fast as well. I'm not saying size translates to speed, but I was going to say size doesn't matter. It well, doesn't. But the, the shorter players tend to be faster. Let, let's just say I can already guarantee you that. A foot race between me and Claudia Pop will end in a victory for her. <laughs> okay, in that I'm case, not winning that. Size does matter. I'm not winning that. For sure. It's about the it's about the motion. All right. I don't have that either. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. Pop Barazzi opens the possession for Team Hungary. But Undi wants to get it down to Hegadush. Hegadush. Drop step. Agadouche averaging just 2.3 points per game this year, but I think this is a matchup she can really become an X factor. There's Soero. Uh oh. Soero, she's going to have to try to defend Pop here. Pop runs into traffic almost through the way. Instead, it ends up in Burundi's hands. Burundi lets it fly. Two is a no. None. Yeah? Yes. Okay. 1 1. No, num, num means no in Hungarian. I figured. I just also don't know any Hungarian. Look, I'm a facts guy, not a language guy. I know a few words. There's Hegedush, no yo. Never mind. You're coming through with Hungarian words that I don't even know. <laughs> and I'm looking at you expecting I told, you to. I told you. I told you off camera and off stream before. I went to Budapest. It's one of the nicest cities I've ever been to, and I tried to make sense of any traffic signs out there, and I got lost. <laughs> Those things make me dizzy. You got to go out to Sholnok. Sholnok. No, Cash, I Cash haven't Cement. Gotten, I haven't gotten a chance to go out there yet. You got to get out there. Yeah, I, I know a few cities out there. My Hungarian experience has been limited to Budapest and Debrecen. Oh, no. There, there are other outstanding cities in the country. I believe you. Uh, Hungary trailing by one. Uh, you should you should visit Sagan. I mean, you mean the festival? It's the third largest. Yes. I've been on the island. The wine festival. It's the third largest city out there. Oh, okay. I thought you meant Shiget. No, Sagan. Sagan. All right. Jesus, boss. Sorry, man. I've heard of the Shiget festival, though. Have you? No. The Shiget. What do they? What does she get at the festival? It's one of the islands in Budapest. They have a, a large festival there. It's every year. Okay. A music festival. Well, I'm just curious to what. No, oh, she. Oh, I see. Pop one. She gets two. That's paparazzi shooting like TMZ. Uh huh. Two-two game. Full C. Last chance for Portugal. Hungry. Your eight seed. Again, I in a quarterfinal spot in their first ten-minute sprint. Yasmina Yuris. And Vlad Gizderenu officiating this. She's official. She don't need no whistle. But Era from the right wing. It's 4-2 Portugal. But this ain't nothing new, at least today. We've seen Portugal jump out to early leads. Mm -hmm. It's the holding on to the lead thing that they're working on. Yeah, the, the, the continuous scoring. They had dried up a little bit last game and went away from exploiting mismatches, which are, they're doing that again right now. Oh, Barondi. Good in the post, but only averaging over four points per game on the women's series this year. She's a bucket. I've watched her play for a long time.
Portugal yeah. Portugal, Portugal holding on to a lead, but they're kind of drying up offensively here. A sluggish start from one of the perennial powers, right? Yeah. Even though Lithuania hasn't won a medal, that I would consider them a, a one of the women's perennial powers. Sure. Yeah. When you look at their body of work, World Cup, Europe Cup, Hungary, who have a gold, who have silver medals at the at the World Cup, Claudia Pop has been. Uh, she's the most experienced of this quartet of Hungarian players. I think they would be considered a favorite typically in this matchup, but, the, but Portugal had found a way to jump out early. International caps. So Edo does not hit it, falling away. Pop tracks it down, but Ondi has it snatched away. Ferreira, Ferreira, oh yeah, she's held up. Uh, oh. Agadouche just grabbed her. That is an sportsmanlike foul. You can't be grabbing on somebody like that if they have a clear path to the basket. Yep, we call that getting snatched up. When I was young, if you got in trouble with your parents and you were in the grocery store, they snatch you up. That's what that was. Yeah, that used to happen to me. Yeah, you're right. I get that. I got too tall for that soon. I was going to say, you were big. <laughs> it didn't take you long to get bigger than your parents. Pretty soon they were snatching me down. <laughs> you were six years old, bigger than mom and dad. No lie, when I was eight years old, you know how you can get into, in the, in the McDonald's, they have those play pens, right? Yes. You can get in until you're like 12. And at eight, they were like, nah. <laughs> I, I was so like, mad. <laughs> I was trying to get my parents to bring my passport. And like, sir, this is this is for the kids. You are too old, sir. Get out. <laughs> yeah. Shave your beard and mustache, sir. <laughs> I'm eight, no. 10-5, by the way. And yeah, a uh, unsportsmanlike foul was the result. Ferreira oh. trying to get some payback. Lost so, her footing. Yeah, lost her footing. Got a 3-2 advantage if they can take advantage of it. And Hungry, throw it away. Yeah. S sloppy pass. So yeah, bogey with a with a bogey. Throws it away, out of bounds, and Hungry have not been sharp through seven minutes. Fortunately for them, they still got uh, what 180 seconds to turn things around. The Costa. Ooh. She put on the brakes, didn't she? Oh, oh yeah. Was, broke her off. Yeah. Wait a minute. It was pretty good. There's Pop. Claudia fouled on the way up. Yeah, she she left a kind of a curious, she put a curious Instagram post up. Paparazzi. She said the last dance. Uh-oh. What does that mean? That mean this is gonna be her last tournament? Say it ain't so well. That's it. Uh, what is that Radiohead? Do, do you know who that?
know? Yeah. They're not scoring the ball. At a high clip, they're picking up a bunch of fouls. And they have had no answer for Ferreira. Lucky to see a miss there. Ferreira hasn't done a lot of missing in this one. Hey, look, Bods, we're on camera. Do you see us? Hey, Where we, we were. Oh, I didn't get that. I gotta start. Sitting. Did I look good? I gotta start sitting up. Did I look good? Is there still some food in my face from this afternoon? Oh, maybe. You, yeah, you got a little some green stuff in between your teeth. <laughs> Thank playing. you. <laughs> Should have told me about three hours ago. Laura Ferreira. Oh, oh offensive, offensive foul. foul. So, I guess Laura was pushing off a little bit off after the spin move. Uh, official Juris is explaining that as. Paparazzi will restart the possession. Claudia Pop, crossover. Pop, pull up. Midi, money. Uh, no hope down there, though. Pop quickly sprints out. Iso game. She will let it fly from two. But the two is uh, no good. Six point difference still. Portugal, they maintain about a six point lead. Yep. Throughout the game. Yeah, and they are firmly in their driver's seat right now. Six points with one minute to go. And, and you know, I'm never, never say never. It's 3x3. But true, but a buck a buck left. Soero will loft it down. Ferreira. She is delivering like a midwife. That's pretty good. Thank you. I had, to, I had to give you a little applause on that one. Well, I've been doing it for a while, boss. I know. I appreciate it. You got a very deep bag. 15-10. <laughs> but, man, Ferreira has been incredible in this game. And Hungary don't have to look any further than Ferreira. If they lose this one, she's the reason. 20 seconds left, a two could do a lot to help Hungary get some confidence and a little bit more hope, but that one is misfired. Oh, uh oh, I got Boz dancing, y'all. Hey, let me see if I can get it. I will put it on social media. Oh, oh, big boss. Hey, this way. This is how you move mountains. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, last couple of ticks off the uh, clock, and that will do it. Portugal, they had to win it, and that's exactly what they did. They get it done 16 10 over the Hungarians. We will now have to face off with Lithuania. Hungary will hope to get a win and force a three-way tie and advance to the quarterfinals that way. That's the only hope that they have.